guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Fiat guys or Alfa Romeo and you want to know the symptoms of that fuel pump. First of all, make sure to stand till the end. We'll explain some symptoms that you should not ignore because sooner or later, okay, the fuel pump will die and you will not be able to move. But it will first be, most of the times, it will give you certain symptoms that I will tell you, okay, fuel pump is getting weak. So all that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tool supplies from and you can guys save a ton of money. So what we have specifically here, it's a Fiat guys, but they're practically built by the same company, you know, Fiat. Uh, and Alfa Romeo are owned by Chrysler Corporation guys and that same engine for instance has been used in more than five different Fiat's and four different Alfa Romeo's so talking about that now okay that fuel pump guys symptoms of fuel pump first thing that uh, uh, when fuel pumps get start going out in some cases they can go out all of a sudden and the car will not be able to start we've seen that happen but we've seen it where it's a gradual process because the fuel pump motor will start turning slower so it will not be producing so much pressure uh, volume of fuel being sent to the engine and when you're accelerating fast from a traffic light you're accelerating to pass somebody and if the car feels hesitant it's puttering it's not being able to accelerate as quick as it should kind of like the engine is feeling like it's misfiring that could be a sign that either the fuel pump filter uh, or the fuel pump itself is going out and the car practically guys okay is struggling for fuel that's some of the first signs that we notice usually when they go out next you may notice guys okay the car being hesitant okay not being able to uh, go sometimes in certain situations then all of a sudden it may start working like okay and then again later it may be uh, running out of power uh, now that could uh, because guys in some cases when they start going out of fuel pumps it's an electric motor that turns uh, and practically has a fan that builds uh, pressure and sends the fuel to the engine but uh, if you think about it with uh, heat okay when heat increases uh, actually resistance increases so that motor will start spinning slower and it will uh, be more likely to quit working when it's warm so if you notice that the car starts acting up when it warms up uh, on our, our long trips that could be the reason why in some cases uh, it could be a fuel pump that's getting weak and eventually it may even die your car may die the fuel pump may stop turning until it cools down and it may restart again but we've seen okay uh, some sometimes uh, scenarios where it just quits working all the time and uh, that way you will not be able to restart the car or if you restart it it will start for a couple of seconds run out of fuel and it will die again those are some of the most common symptoms guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time